I ask you here, solve for x. Uh, what would be the first step? Uh, if you know the first step, can I see uh, your hand, raise your hand, please? Those of you the microphone, I'm going to ask you to talk. So, let's see, uh, Jasmine, do you want to tell me what's your first step? Go ahead. Oh, you got the mic. Jasmine, you want to give me the first step? Um, you have to find the absolute value of 2x minus 2. Okay, what is, what is your first step? Um, okay, try again, please. I, I gave your microphone back. Um, I'll take 2x and then take it out of the absolute value and make it 2x plus 2 plus 1 equals 5. Uh, no, that's not quite right. Uh, uh, Shannon, do you want to? Shannon, you want to try that? I'll give you a mic. Uh, yeah, what you would have to do is subtract one from each side. Very good. The first step is to subtract one. From, uh, you want to isolate the absolute value. That's the first thing you want to do. So that would be absolute value of 2x minus 2 equal to 4. Okay. At this point, if I had absolute value of x is equal to a number k, there are two cases that I have to examine. Either x is equal to k, or x is equal to negative k. That's what you have to look at. So in this case, you have to do the same thing, except instead of x, we have this expression here. So the first step would be 2x minus 2 is equal to 4, or 2x minus 2 is equal to k. When we talk about the absolute value, uh, you want to relate that to the distance. So when I say absolute value of k is equal to, uh, absolute value of x is equal to k, that means how far, uh, give, me, give me two numbers that are exactly k units away from, uh, from zero. So it would be, uh, one answer would be k here, and the other answer would be minus k. So if I say absolute value of x is equal to 5, well, the answer would be x would be equal to 5, x would be equal to negative 5, because these are the two, two numbers here that are exactly 5 units away from, from 0. So these are the, our answers. So in this case, uh, we, we have 2x minus 2 is equal to 4, then 2x minus 2 is equal to uh, negative 4. Let's change that k. It's going to be negative 4. So we solve for this. We, we add 2 to both sides of the equation here. So we would get uh, 2x is equal to 6. So x must be equal to 6 over 2 is equal to 3. That's one answer. And some of you gave me this one answer, but you totally ignored the other one. Uh, here we have to uh, continue with the second case, would be adding 2 to both sides of the equation. So here we have 2x is equal to negative 2, so x is equal to negative 2 over 2, which is x equal to negative 1. And we can easily check our answer here to see if these make sense. If x equal to 3, if I substitute that 3, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, so absolute value of 4 is equal to 4, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, so that checks out. And for negative 1, 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2, negative 2 minus 2 would be negative 4, absolute value of negative 4 is equal to still 4, 4 plus 1 is equal to uh, 5. So that's how you, you can check your answer. So don't forget you should get 2 uh, 
solutions here when we're dealing with the absolute value, one to the right and one to the left. So let's see if you have, you have any questions. If you have a question, raise your hand. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you have a question, please raise your hand. If not, uh, I want to see check mark. Uh, Shannon, you have a question. Good. I'm giving you a mic. Uh, what's your question, uh, Shannon? Uh, what would be the correct way to write the answer? Would you put it in parentheses, or how would you how would you write it? Yeah, you can, you can write it exactly the way I I have them here, or uh, you can sometimes they put in the brackets. Sometimes they put three comma minus one. That's another way. Sometimes you can see uh, the post answer, or you can just uh, show it just like that, uh, but separated with the word or. Or means including both answer or union. Uh, both of them means uh, included. Okay. All right, looks like you're okay with that. Can I see a check mark next to your name if you all can follow this question? Check mark if you follow it. Uh, raise your hand if you have a question. <coughs> 